in the Cubs Reds game, we were asked about base awards. Barrero bounces one right side. McKinstry throws the ball away at first. The ball off the leg of Gomes. It ends up out of play. Castro a little tardy getting over. McKinstry backing up Wisdom. And what a carom off the catcher. He kicked, I mean, you, when he you did. talk about making an error in the field, it's usually yeah, he kicked that one. I mean, he kicked that ball in the stands. And they're going to give him third base here. Batter runner will be awarded third base. And the question we were asked is why not just second? The broadcast camera angle doesn't seem to show it, but the key variable is how the ball came to be out of play. For a standard overthrow that leaves the field, provided it is the first play by an infielder, the penalty is two bases from time of pitch. That's where you get the standard case of a batter runner getting second base. On the other hand, if, as the red broadcasters state, the catcher actually kicked the ball up and out of play, then it's no longer a first play by the middle infielder, but the catcher that caused the ball to go out of play, which was not the first play, it was the second play, so it's time of kick, so to speak. Usually there are two moments in time referenced in this rule. One is time of pitch, which we talked about. The other is time of throw, which means the position of the runners when the fielder who threw the ball out of the play released that ball. And that applies to things like throws from the outfield or an infield throw, which is not the first play by an infielder like the turn of a double play. This would be similar, just instead of time of throw, it's time of kick. Replays indicate the batter runner touched first base before the ball even got to the catcher. So you would add two bases from the batter's position at first base, and that's how you would get third base. But Barrero is jogging across the infield grass. Hardly ever see that kind of series of events all domino like that. I also want to pick up on a key thing the broadcaster just said, that the batter runner jogged across the infield grass to go from first to third. That can be appealed. A base award does not absolve the runner of the responsibility to touch each base in order while going to their awarded base. So if this batter runner failed to touch second base, the Cubs could have still gotten an out by appealing a missed base touch at second when the ball was put back into play. Thank you for the question. It is definitely unusual to see a batter runner awarded third base on this type of a play. But per the rule, the catcher kicking the ball out of the play, that is the reason that it happened. Visit us online at CloseCallSports.com, Twitter and Facebook at CloseCallSports Discord too, and we'll see you on the site.